We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Russell Gagan here from Russell's Fishing Tech. This is a video that I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out whether I should or should not make. Um, it's what I'm going to call my top 10 flasher of all time video question mark. Um, and the reason I say that is because I get asked this question all the time. What are your best flashers? That's a very, very difficult question to ask. And the reason is, is because my belief is that the flasher color makes a huge difference for drawing fish in and small very very minute changes alterations from you know one flasher to the next a different color ladder a different color tape on one side versus the other on one half versus the other can make a huge huge difference but with that said what i know is that not everybody's on a expert charter captain tournament fisherman level and we have a lot of entry fi entry uh, level fishermen involved in my Patreon account and just out in the salmon world in general. And I want those individuals to get set up with the right flashers and make sure they got some confidence baits that I'm comfortable and they're comfortable knowing that it, they should put these out on a regular basis to have you know success. And then add to that after that. And when I was thinking about this top 10 thing, what I was really thinking about was, here's what you gotta understand. I've pulled out 10 flashers here that I think are must-haves, okay? There's probably more than 10 if I really took weeks to think about this on what a must-have list would be, but there's 10 flashers right here on this table that are must-haves. I wouldn't leave the dock without them. In any sort of situation, I feel like I got to have these in my tackle box, but, and here's the big but, it's not the only 10 to have. And what I mean by that is I get a lot of guys that come from Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota, year in and year out, or even just, you know, Western Wisconsin or, or along the lakeshore in Wisconsin here, and they'll come to my store and they'll say, what are they biting on now? And almost for sure, every year, there's a couple of new flashers, or there's a couple of old flashers that have sort of rebirthed and became the hot flasher of that year. And I'll give you some ex examples of those to start. Last year, here in the, in the Sheboygan TRS store, we came up with two flashers called Rondo's Mistress and Rondo's Ex-Mistress by Pro King. And you can see those right there. Those were two flashers that we came up with last year. And there was a couple of week time, two to three weeks, where these were the hottest selling flashers in the store. They were also producing a ton of fish, okay? So I can't predict that. I can't tell you in this video that in 2020, uh, you know, ex-brother-in-law's sister flasher is gonna be the hottest thing because it's not invented yet, we haven't come out with it yet, and I don't know if they're gonna bite it. What I can tell you is there's certainly gonna be some new ones or some old ones that haven't surfaced for three, four, five years that all of a sudden somebody's gonna pull out of their tackle box, catch a few fish on, and uh, that's gonna spiral down to a bunch of guys catching fish on it and it kind of rebirth as a hot flasher. A Couple of the other ones that did that last year that I'm excited about that these could end up making this top list going forward. Um, and this one in particular, I think probably will, is the Stud UV uh, Salmon Candy Flasher, as that flasher was a standout for me all of last year. And the coloring on it really gives me an idea that it's something I really like, and I think it's probably gonna go to my must-have list going forward. But before I would add it to that, it needs to produce for a couple of seasons in a row for sure. Uh, another one would be the Salmon Candy Green Jeans UV. That was a really, really dynamite flasher for me and for Matt Clinton, one of the guys that I fish with regularly last year. But now down to the barrel, bottom of the barrel here. This is something that I probably wouldn't put out in the public. This is something that I would share in pieces with individuals, but maybe wouldn't take the time to lay out a must-have set of flashers for you until we made this Patreon page. And I'm willing to give it to you now. You should own all 10 of these flashers no doubt you should probably have two each of them and i'll tell you when to run them okay um to start dragon slayer pro king flasher if you don't own a dragon slayer pro king flasher you should have one um you can see the tag right there it's a pro king flasher called dragon slayer it's on chrome not the white version the chrome version if you don't own two of these you should have two of these 
This is a great flasher year round, but it really seems to excel prior to July 4th. So July, you know, June and July, early July. Then two that I came up with a, a while back that have just been standouts year in and year out now for about four or five years is the RGV Chin Music and the RGV Blue Chin Music. Both Pro King flashers again. Um, you can see the tags on the back there. Blue Chin Music and Chin Music. These are must-haves. You should absolutely have these two flashers. You should have two of each of them. I do very well on the June in June on the blue one. That a lot of times can be my hottest flasher I have in the month of June. And then the green one is a little bit more season round. Can be good in June, July, or August. Um, and sometimes can be my hottest flasher. But when that blue one is on, that blue chin music, it is the hottest thing I own. This green one just is always a standout flasher for me and has been for years. A good July and August flasher for me when the fish are starting to turn a little bit of colors and uh, they're getting further along in their maturation process is the Lucky Charm UV. And that we had in a Michigan Stinger flasher before. And we will have it in a salmon, or we have it already in a salmon candy flasher going forward. But that Lucky Charm UV has been a dynamite flasher for me for years. Probably my two favorite flashers potentially of all time are Megatron and Kryptonite. Megatron is a blue ladder version. It's got a UV lead back, crushed lead back, I should say. Salmon candy flasher and a Kryptonite. That's got a, a green ladder underneath instead of a blue. Same lead crushed back. Probably two of my all-time favorite flashers. I have caught so many big kings and won so much money on those two flashers. It's 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 pretty crazy. Um, two standbys. White Two-Face and Chrome Two-Face with Crush Glow Tape. White blade, chrome blade. Same pattern on both sides. Those are just down and dirty good flashers. They've been around a long time. They're staples you should have in your tackle box. We make UV versions of this. We make other versions that are good at times. But these two Crush Glow versions, day in and day out, have been lethal for many, many anglers all over the Great Lakes. When I developed uh, Two-Face years ago, we came up here at the Anglers Avenue store with the first Two-Face product out there, which was a flasher by Michigan Stinger. Um, I don't even know, eight, seven, eight years ago or so, it has dominated the Great Lakes king salmon fishing. That pattern is talked about all over the place. It's been copied by tons of manufacturers and everybody makes one now. The last two I'll talk about is uh, Marv's Big Fatty, which is a green blade and is very unique here um, in the sense of it's the only green blade I got in the bunch. You definitely gotta have a green blade in your favorite mix. Um, it's green blade with crushed tape and green dots on both sides. Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, this is an absolute must-have and a go-to for lots of guys. You should absolutely have this flasher. It's a must-have. You should have a couple of them. This seems to work really good in July and August for me. And then one that's really been good, if you guys followed me and watched the uh, Next Bite TV show that I was on last year that we filmed here in Sheboygan last year in late June, early July, the hot flasher of that trip, and the, it's been a hot flasher for me for four or five years, has been the Mercy UV which is a chrome flasher, sort of a hybrid flasher. It's a chrome flasher with crushed tape. It's got a UV ladder on it. It's got a lead back with crushed tape on it. This list of flashers is must have top 10. I'll try to put in the comments um, or I'll maybe send you guys an email with this list, little, you know, with the names on them if you can't follow it in the video. But you guys should have these flashers. They're ones you want to have if you're fishing Lake Michigan or Lake Ontario for King Salmon. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the Patreon page. Good luck fishing.